Good morning to everyone on social media. I am so excited to be with you again this morning and I just wanted to share um, a little something that has been on my mind. Um, this season of life right now um, is actually like not, not our quarantine season, like our season that um, it's spring is what I want to talk about this morning. Um, I love spring, and I can remember when I was little, like growing up, um, this was the time of the year that we would go with my dad outside in the backyard with the tiller and like get everything ready for a garden and like plant the garden and then wait. And um, I can just remember planting seeds with him and like getting all the rows perfect and the tiny little space for them to go and then just waiting and looking at the empty rows. And all of a sudden, you wake up one morning, and there they are, all of your little buds that have come up. And so, I wanted to um, show you, I this is my first year myself to grow a garden, and I have uh, found myself being like a like a, a child and checking it every single day, like because I'm just so excited that something is going to grow, and I feel like I'm probably almost too anxious that it's going to grow and then I'm afraid that there may not be results that I expect but it's gone well um but to start it did not go very well so I um thought some my husband Caleb has uh recently been very into um, making his own pizza like from scratch completely and so he makes his sauce and everything from scratch and he uses a lot of herbs and so I thought well that'll be one of the things that I grow and so um here is my first attempt, I don't know if you can tell, but um, it is very dead. The rest of them are completely gone. So I was like, well, I'll grow you some basil and some oregano because I know that's what you use. And so they died. All of them died. But I had them inside and I was washing them every day and I was watering them and keeping an eye on them. And I quickly realized that um, that was not enough and that was not what they needed actually. And so now I have figured out the process and this one is much better as you can see the difference in my dead one and my ones that are alive and flourishing because this one mm, it smells so good. I put it outside and it has just done its own growing. And that made me think of a scripture um, when I was in high school. Um, we did this um, activity uh, with what's called story cards. And so I have this story card. Um, actually, Andy Stanley's church, um, North Point Community Church, they sell these. I'm not a partner with them, by the way. But <laughs> you should definitely look into these. They're called story cards. And they're all these cards with different pictures on them that um, you can ask questions and, like, you pick the card that you relate to the most. Well, I picked this card at some point and kept it, and I have my own stack of them now, so I have this card. But I wanna show it to you closely. This is just a like fresh budding plant that's just come out of the ground, and you have just the beginning of a plant. And so this picture reminds me so much of a passage um, from Romans 10, 15, and it says, um, how beautiful are those are the feet of those who preach the good news. And I think of that verse because um, that's our job in life is to preach good news. But oftentimes we want to be in control of the outcome of the people that we are speaking life to. And that's not the case. Um, so I wanted to bring you to a passage of scripture from 1 Corinthians 3. Um, and Paul is speaking to the Corinthians and um, I just want to read to you what he says. He says, but brothers, but brothers, I could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ, I fed you with milk, not solid food, because you weren't ready for it yet. And even now you're still not ready, for you're still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? For when one says, I'll follow Paul, and another says, I follow Apollos, are you not being merely a human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believe, as the Lord assigned to each of you. This is the part that I want you to hear. He says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. 
he who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. I love that part of scripture because oftentimes we think that we have to do so much work to make things happen. And that's what I thought with my original plants and that was not the case. I killed them. <laughs> I tried to do it all by myself. But the moment that I put this beautiful, now blooming and flourishing um, plant of oregano outside where I planted it and I gave it a little bit of water, but when I put it out where the, the sun could get to it and it could just have fresh air, it grew. And I know that it sounds corny, but um, it is God's sunshine. And he does put, spread his light onto all of our plants in our garden right now. And that's what's making them grow. Um, multiple times I've called my dad and said, Dad, my plants aren't growing. He's like, well, you just need a good sunny day. It's like, you just need a good sunny day and they're going to grow really well. And he's right. He, as soon as sun has hit all of those plants, they pick themselves up, they stand up taller, and they're growing and flourishing and producing fruit. And we just need to be reminded that, yes, it's our job to plant seeds. And yes, it's our job to continue to water them, which would be telling people about Jesus and then continually reminding them who he is, showing them how to live and giving them examples of life and reading them scripture and introducing them to who God is and to God's word and letting them know this is what's going to feed your soul. And this is what's going to make you grow to be an amazing Christian. So I hope that you're touched by this um, and just can remember that um, just like our sweet plants that are outside, um, we all just need a little bit of light or sunshine from the Lord to help our spirits grow and just to remain steadfast in the Lord. I hope you have a blessed day and a great week.